What is going on everybody? So today we are going to be installing the NSX calipers I got from Sean onto the budget track car. NSX calipers, they range in price, but luckily Sean hooked me up when I helped them install a spoon model box on his car. So thank you very much, Sean. And I got the calipers for a hundred bucks. Can't beat that. Um, yeah, these are gonna go on. Uh, what I did was I just uh, painted them silver because there's, I don't know, just kind of want them to look good, you know what I'm saying? Want to put it on the car, so I picked these up for 100 bucks. These are direct bolt-on to GSR uh, LS and EK, uh, EX model SI spindles. Um, anything that has, or anything that from factory uses a 262 millimeter rotor, so a 10 inch rotor from factory. Just like these. Now, this car originally comes with a uh, nine inch spindle, which is like my brother's car, um, LX and DX models. But this car, I completely swapped everything. This is a EX front spindle, which allowed me to run a spoon caliper, which is a 11 inch rotor. A lot of calipers do bolt up to these spindles, ITR calipers, NSX calipers, the spoon calipers, monoblock spoon calipers fit too. Um, you're just very limited on certain wheel sizes because the model box are slightly larger and uh, I think after a legend or TL I forgot one of those two um, These are pretty much legend calipers They are two pot This right here is all going to go on to that budget track car. I uh, went with the cheapest kind of uh, Suspension components that I could get from rock auto because we are on a budget guys now, we're just being really, really cheap on this car. These are inner tie rods. I put the total for all of this on the screen. These are the lower ball joints. These are, I think, the outer tie rods. And these are, let's see. Oh, do that. This is the rotor. I already cracked one open just to make sure that I was right because I have seen Rock Auto send some um, wrong stuff before. This is the same setup on my hatch. This is a Mini Cooper 2007 to 2011 Mini Cooper Type S or base model, turbo, whatever. Any of those Mini Coopers that come with a stock 280 uh, millimeter front rotor or 282, which this is off of. This hole right here, which is normally um, held on by the screwdriver, will not work on the Civic. Just, just to let you guys know that, but... I'm running it fine without it. So, yep, that's that. And then this bottom box, these are my wheel bearings and wheel hubs uh, for the fronts because the driver's side on that car, when I got it, they are kind of messed up. And uh, I was gonna do these today, but I can't. I have to go over to Naldo's house and grab my uh, wheel bearing removal tool so I could do all this. Um, but we're probably going to install the calipers and probably the tie rods today and then do that tomorrow when I go pick up the tool. What brake pads I'm using? Now, I'm not going to count this towards the budget because I bought this for the hatch. But eBay kind of messed up and sent me two on accident. Which are EBC green stuff. Oh crap. You see, Acura Integra Type R, CL, Legend. Um, and yeah, so these work. The only thing is, uh, I was talking with Dwayne about them. It's better to use TSX brake pads for um, these calipers so they're not overhanging or whatever. Uh, he says these do overhang or they don't fit correctly, but they do work. So we're just going to use them and send it on it. And I had these on because, oh, I shaved that down for the spoon calipers, but we don't need to do that anymore. So that's going to go on there. And we do have this box sitting here, but I'll uh, show you guys that later. Um, that was the ultimate come up recently. This thing, I still have to uh, get alignment on this POS, but goddamn, she got bird shit in on. Alright, so I'm going to jack up the car, take out the front wheels, and very, it's going to be very, very simple. It's going to take off that old rotor, take off the caliper, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, take off the brake line, and uh, we should be good. So once you got your car uh, supporting jack stands and the wheel off, damn, check out this eBay cola. We're still holding up. So you're gonna take off these two 10 mils 
and then I would dra I would take off the brake line so let all the fluid um, drain into a pot or something. Take off these two 17 mils. There's one up here and one at the very bottom. And then the whole caliper should come off with the brake pad. And after that, the road should slip off. Normally there'll be an impact screw here, but that is not there. That's gonna slide off. Put the new Mini Cooper rotor on, put the NSX caliper on, put the brake line on, and the brake pads, and then bleed it. Super, super easy, uh, nothing fancy. It's just more convenient if you have an EX spindle or a GSR or whatever to run bigger calipers and a bigger rotor. Also, quick tip, when you take out the brake line, make sure you don't lose the washers. I'm just gonna leave it like that, so I'm gonna put the new caliper in, the washer's are already there. And now to take out the two 17s back here, and that's it. Super, super easy. It's literally only held on by about one, two, three, four, five, five bolts. And this has nothing. The caliper's off, and I have a problem where the rotor's stuck. So what you wanna do is get a mallet, smack it, rotate it, smack it, rotate it, Another tip is, if it's not coming out with a mallet or a hammer, you could grab some 12 millimeter bolts, put it in there, put this in the top one, and then just get an electric drill or something. Oh crap. And put a 12 on it. Oh, all right, it went off that easy. There we go. I guess I need any two. All right, now to bring over the new stuff and let me compare it. Uh, let me show you guys the comparison between the two. The rotor is bigger by a whole inch or let's just say uh, 20 something millimeters, I forgot. And then the calipers, it's slightly larger, but this is a two piston caliper and this is a one piston caliper. And uh, if you had a look at the brackets, Brackets do fit. Quick pause in the video. Today is the next day after I filmed this video and I had to go to the junker to pick up new caliper brackets. I totally forgot when you're using NSX calipers, you have to change the caliper bracket, um, the one that goes on the spindle. So I went to the junkyard and spent, uh, let's see, uh, web tax $19.76 for two caliper brackets. Now you mainly need this piece. So on the back, it shows that it's a 23T. Uh, NSX clappers are 28T, and I think like uh, certain like other models are 25Ts. The these are pretty much due to rotor size, so 23T is for 23 millimeter thickness rotors. So if you're gonna be running Mini Cooper rotors or NSX clappers on EK or Integra, make sure you pick up these clappers. These clappers come off of a uh, 97 and up Integra Type R, um, this this one here I got from a 9698 Acura TL. Um, Odysseys come with the two 90, I think like 95 to 97, like the first gen Odysseys. So you can look it up, 23T brackets, uh, Acura Vigorous come with the two, so just a heads up. And thank you very much to Dwayne, letting me know what cars these came off of because I just totally forgot to change out the brackets and the uh, issue I'm having right now is the brakes, since there, it's not the right bracket, they're, um, the pads are constantly um, going against the rotor, so pretty much it's, there's like pressure on it and it's causing the brakes to lock up. So just a heads up, okay? So everything else after this little clip is all the same, disinstalled the same way and all that, okay? So yeah, my fault, but you live and you learn. So at least I only spent like 20 bucks for those brackets. Oh, and brake fluid came out of there, so that's why. Yep, and you guys can see the holes line up. All right, now I'll put this on, but before I do that, actually, gotta spray with some brake cleaner because they do put some oil on or something just to um, coat it from rusting. The main reason why you want to buy Mini Cooper Roads is because they are hub-centric to the Civic and Integra uh, hubs. But you see how the um, holes for the lug nuts, or the studs, I mean, are kind of too, uh, what would you say, too big, because I guess the Mini Cooper have bigger studs, but doesn't matter. There's actually a company on Instagram that um, sells 
little spacers I go into them to hold the uh, what's it, the rotor uh, perfectly in place. But what I'm gonna do is just make it fit one lug nut. There we go. And hand tighten that. There we go. Make sure it's all lined up. I might have to cut this dust, you know, dust shield. Not too sure, so I'm gonna try it out real quick. Um, I don't think I need to, but on spoon clappers you normally have to cut this. So let's try it out real quick and see. We are perfect. You do not need to cut the OEM dust shield. I'm guessing because this is a, yeah, the caliper bracket's a lot smaller than the spoon ones. So now to put that on, um, put the brake line on, and then bleed it, and then I'm gonna see if I can do these, cause look how bad these are. These are so bad, these actually clunk when I drive. So, yeah. But, yeah. I'm gonna tie in those two 70 mils, and then put these on, and, and uh, get going for some NSX calipers. Cool. Uh, Let's see what else that is it I have to pull this off probably tomorrow though just so I could do the wheel bearing but I'm not tripping I don't think I need to do them right away but I just want to do them so it's all fresh and uh, you can see how they're kind of mangled um, but yeah cool there we go ABC green stuff paired with a set of NXS coppers now the only issue that um, I'm having is this brake line. So normally it uses two 10 mil bolts to hold the back, but I can't. It's gonna pull the line, so I'm just gonna bolt it down to this one 10 mil, and it should be good. And uh, don't forget to put the metal. Oh damn it! I forgot to put that in there. So <laughs> I'm gonna open the caliper back up and put this in there, and we should be set to be bleeding. I'm just waiting for Lee to come over so he can help me bleed the car because my brother's not home and my uh, vacuum bleeder broke. So it's gonna be by manpower today. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do the other side and uh, yeah, just wait it out for Lee. Are you gonna redline it first, like first gear? I thought you were gonna redline. No, it. I, didn't. I didn't want to scare anyone. But it's not loud. Your red lines don't sound loud. Okay. Father and son talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lee's here to help me bleed the brakes. So we're still on the passenger side, huh? Uh, right. <laughs> no, I step on the brake. Fuck! Hold on, this shit is tight as fuck. Oh, there we go. Shit. Okay, you know I cannot do this with one hand. All right, hold it. Oh fuck! All right, there we go. Shit, that shit jizzed out. All right, how does it feel? Okay, now I go other side. You like that camera? Mm -hmm. Shit, you should ask your dad to buy it for you. But not this one, this is mine. <laughs> Alright, now onto the other side. Make sure that thing's not leaking. Right. So what are we eating? It's around Genesee. Oh, Genesee? You got pizza, a lot of pizza places actually, surprisingly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's just coming out like a stream. All right, pump it. <laughs> this one's faster to bleed because it's right next to the booster. Yeah, that's really good. How does it feel? Really good. Like, good. You have key on? No. That's probably why I pull. Alright, here you go. Man. It's really firm. More firm than mine. Dude. Yeah, I chunk out for the first thing. Oh. There's a lot of pizza places in Genesee. Ooh, pizza. Burger places. Burgers. Uh, 
Hmm? Burgers, burgers. There's five guys. Hey. That's just greasy though. Um, Is that your pizza? What's that plate? Pot? Yeah. You can go there? Yeah. 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 Yeah